it's exactly a year since the Olympic torch made its way through the Midlands on its final leg to the London Games. The focus since then has been on the legacy of the Olympics. Well, today, pupils in Staffordshire have been competing in their own games, with teachers talking of record numbers of children taking part in sport. Here's our Staffordshire reporter, Liz Copper. The athletes were piped in to the opening ceremony of the Staffordshire and Stoke-on-Trent school games, and the guest of honour was Olympic gymnastics medalist Beth Tweddle. We talked so much about legacy after the 2012 Games and I think today is a prime example of what that legacy is. 80 schools from across Staffordshire took part in the Games. In all, there are around a thousand pupils aged between 6 and 18 taking part today and memories of the Olympics are still alive. It's definitely inspired a lot more people to get uh, more involved in sport. Um, I think it was good for the country as well. Loads of my friends have got into sport like more because of the Olympics and said that they want to do some of the things that are in the Olympics. I think it gives you sort of a taster session sort of thing. So like if you didn't know about a sport, you could go try it out and see if you enjoy it. There were 19 sports on show and the legacy of the Paralympic Games was also evident with contests and medals for disabled athletes alongside able-bodied competitors. Organisers say there's been a noticeable rise in the number of children taking up sport following the Olympics. In Stafford alone, we've had about 38, 40 competitions this year, record numbers in all sports. We've introduced new sports as well. The turnout has been fantastic, not only from secondary schools, but also from the primary schools. So very much so, there's a legacy taking place. The hope is this will become an annual fixture in Staffordshire's sporting calendar and it will continue to inspire children to take up sport. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Keele University.